Hello Internet, and welcome back to an Author Plays World's Dawn. So, we are here, oh, and it is just after the Lockball Bash in, <coughs> excuse me, in late summer. I skipped ahead quite a bit uh, because I wanted to push the story a little bit further forward, um, and uh, Paxel is back. And actually, so this MF right here, Paxel, is legitimately the best Lockball player that I have ever seen. Um, mainly because he cheats. Just putting that out there. Mainly because he cheats. But either way, um, I actually had to play against him like four or five times before I was actually able to claim the victory, as it were, in that little tournament. Because pretty much everybody, except for Paxel, is bad at lockball. <laughs> I, I hate I hate saying that because it's like, it's. I mean, you don't expect the AI to be super great in this game anyway. Just because it, it it shouldn't need to be, right? Like that's not the point of the game is is to have everybody awesome at this whole little soccer sport thing. Um, but I mean, Paxel comes out of nowhere and he moves the same speed as you. He, I mean, all of his tackles basically hit. It, it's just it's just ugh, just just pure and unadulterated ugh. And thankfully, we were able to eventually kind of cheese it a little bit by just kicking the ball into the corner and then sort of speed demon speed demoning our way down with like furious sprints down the, the goal and you'd have to do this three or four times per point because he can lock up his goal from half from from midfield I mean that, that, that's totally fair but anyways so we were able to do that and we got a fair amount of cash money and some clothes that looked dumb no offense again no offense the clothes don't look super great um but, I mean, all in all, it's 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 a fun event. There we go. Adjusting a little bit for the recording. But anyways... Oh, I don't really need that continuously. So, anyways, it's just... I've been trying to push forward... Push forward, rather, a little bit. Oh, I fished yesterday and forgot to throw these in here. Um, I've been trying to push ahead a little bit as... I'm going to hold on to the mushrooms and sell off... Or the mushrooms. The melons and sell off the corn. Uh, because I don't want to just keep doing festival after festival after festival. I do want to show off a little bit about what I have. Also, look at my horse. My horse is amazing. Um, this is Pegasus, keeping up with the whole Greek slash Roman thing. Um, got the horse after, after the Firelight Festival, I think it was, uh, because I was tired of spending all my stamina on running all over the place. So, now we can get on our little horse, we can use our stamina on all sorts of stuff. It's basically just a nice quality of life upgrade. And who doesn't love that, right? So, get everybody out of the barn so that way they can enjoy the nice, beautiful summer day. And, go ahead and feed everybody. Because apparently eating grass outside is not good enough, we also need to eat whatever random assortment of grains I'm going to throw into these troughs here. So, Plan for the day is show off a little bit about the progress that I've, that we've achieved thus far, um, which I mean you've seen. You know we have a cow, we have chickens, we've got a fancy we got a fancy ass horse, um, and what I'm finding is that now with the animals that I have in my care, I guess you could say, I make enough day to day that I don't really need to sell crops for money or grow crops for money, I guess would be the best way to put it. I'm still planning on growing crops because they gave me 40 friggin' spots to grow crops. Why would I not? But the, excuse me, the difference is that, <coughs> excuse me, um, difference rather, is that now what I can do is grow these crops and, you know, I'm actually not even going to play Logan. It's not even worth it. Um, I can grow these crops and then go ahead and go in here to the village primer and look up at Alexander and be like, okay, I don't have anything that he likes, so this is a bad example. But, if I don't remember what somebody likes, then I can look that up and see if I have that in my inventory, because I did hold on all that stuff for spring, thinking this might fall into the same pitfalls as previous Harvest Moon games, and force you to buy things, um... Words, hang on. Force you to buy things, or force you to buy things or hold on to things that you can only get seasonally. There we go. I was looking earlier, and I actually can't believe I didn't buy this. I wanted fancier... There we go. I want fancier curtains and bedsheets, damn it. And I have the money, so why not? There we go. 
So now we can spruce up our house a little bit. You probably saw that I've like fleshed out the kitchen and got some got some plants in there now. I think next on our list is maybe some background music for what that's worth. Hey, Paxel. All right, I can't talk to people on the horse. Hi, Paxel. I remember you liking the ambrosial berries. Boom, there we go. So I'm doing all this with the hopes, uh, if I can just find my primer, there it is. I'm doing this with the hopes that being friends with everyone in the village will eventually unlock the friendship fairy. Um, and as you can see, I've got most folks up to two or more ribbons here. Like in particular, I know Quint is a big buddy of mine. Logan is a big buddy of mine. Annabelle, we've got to four hearts. That happened after the Firelight Festival. And I don't know if I should mention it. I don't know. This kind of game, I guess, doesn't really have spoilers per se. So um, I guess if you don't want to hear spoilers for her story, then I'll give you an annotation somewhere over on the right hand side to to click on if you just want to skip ahead and not have to deal with that. But either way, um, so at the Firelight Festival, it turns out that she's got kind of like a sad backstory. <coughs> Excuse me, I guess you'd say. Like, I've always wondered where that family's dad was. And I'm just waiting for the bakery to open so I can do some part-time work. Um, but yeah, I guess this family has like a very tragic, or not really tragic, but sad backstory where um, it just kind of worked out where Annabelle, when she was younger, um, they were living in the city and her father both, let's see, actually, do I have anything for you? Um, her father both lost his work, like lost his job, and also, I can buy him some cheese, and um, also, what was it? Uh, lost his job and also they were gonna have Bloom. That's what it was. Bloom was going to be a part of the family. You know, she was pregnant. And he sunk into a I guess the best word for it is a depression about, you know, how am I going to take care of my family? How am I going to do any of this? And it just ate at him. And eventually, um, the mom decided that she couldn't stick around because this guy just wasn't going to be... He, he wasn't going to, to amount to anything after that. He was just going to let his depression eat at him. And so they decided to leave. And I thought that was really interesting because... It, it makes me wonder if that's necessarily the right choice. I mean, I've seen, I, I, I've dealt with and have understood people uh, with depression and know that basically abandoning them like that is actually not really the best way to go about. No, I don't want to buy the freaking doggy dish. Um, like when somebody's depressed like that, they don't, I don't know. I, I'm actually kind of worried about saying anything because I don't want to be wrong. I only have my own life experiences and what I've what I've seen. So I'm just I guess I'm just not gonna go there. But like it does kind of make you wonder if that was necessarily the right move was was to leave them behind. I mean maybe move out here, get out of the big city, get away from all the, the stressors and the hustle and bustle, move to somewhere quiet where you can start a farm. Maybe that was what he needed, a, a change of scenery. Um, we don't know because now, I mean, we assume he's back in whatever nameless city they came from. And, um, I mean, that's basically all there is left is just them here. And by us being or expressing our interest, I guess she would say, would be the best way to describe it in Annabelle. Um, it's helping her adjust a little bit better to what's going on in here and basically is... Like this, this, this city is essentially a rebirth for this character, <clears throat> or this this village, I should say. It's not really a city. Um, is a sort of rebirth for this character. So oh, that's right. You can't go in when it's closed. Ooh, Firefly, come here, come here, come here. Get. Let me catch you. There we go. Dust copper. Anyways, um, no idea what they do, by the way. I just I see them, I catch them, and it makes me smile. But anyways. Um, so being here is sort of like a rebirth for this family and us being there on top of that I, I guess is really helping out Annabelle and uh, I guess it's kind of a it, it is a bit of a trope the shy character um, you know has some like sort of dark past I guess not dark but like like unideal history I guess would be the best way to put it um, that then is resolved through some sort of self-expression or community, what have you. You know, it's a it's a it's a, a sort of reintegration back after into into the community after 
an event caused this individual to sort of push themselves away. It's a very interesting story trope that's been used many a time. And, <coughs> excuse me, it's actually, I'm actually a bit of a sucker for it personally, but that's beside the point. The point is that um, it's a lot more narrative than I think we otherwise get out of characters from a Harvest Moon game. Given that typically the Harvest Moon characters are, like it's, it's very much a, come on, where's the, there it is. Um, like they, they have themselves established and understanding of and an understanding of themselves before you even come into the picture and then from there um it's very much like oh yeah that's snazzy that is snazzy yeah look at that um oh the fortuna raffle let's see the winner will be anyways it's just there's more character to these folks than there otherwise would be i think if this were a a regular Harvest Moon game rather than an indie dev's ideal, essentially. So that's something that I really enjoy and am appreciating because it means that I'm getting, like, it means that I'm getting a more satisfying experience as somebody who really likes game narrative. Um, and it also means that people who enjoy interacting with the villagers more than they do, <coughs> excuse me, ooh, a glass bottle. How much is that selling for? Heck yeah, I'm gonna order that. I got like 400 bucks waiting for me outside. Uh, anyways. Uh, it just... I don't know. I, I'm getting a significantly more satisfying experience out of this than I would be a different... Um, a different Harvest Moon title, I think. Should have known you would get yourself in Noah's old trading game. <laughs> Been wearing that lucky pin since you gave it to me and I brought you something in return. A fine paintbrush. Amber. It's going to go straight to Amber. That's going to go straight over to her. So let's go ahead and pick up our money. There we go. That bottle has basically paid for itself now. Or our circumstances have allowed for us to pay for the bottle. However you want to phrase that. So we're going to go ahead and water our crops. We'll give the thing to Amber. I almost wonder if this trading game is essentially going to encompass every single villager in the game. And I'm not just talking about the people who are living here now, but the folks who will eventually move in. I don't know how, I mean, it, it just, the game describes it as the lengthy trading quest or whatever. So not super indicative of necessarily the length of the chain, but one would assume it is every single, every single link that is the village. So I guess we'll find out. I think we've done, God. Oh, jeez, so many eggs in here. God dang. Again, I'm not complaining. I mean, this is significantly better than we were in spring on the 21st. Um, so let's go ahead and get out our brush. So I'm just assuming that eventually I'm going to have to trade with every single villager. And it will probably take till the end of the year. Because thankfully, for the most part, <coughs> excuse me, for the most part, all of the uh, trading items are sensible. Um, I think the only one that stripped me up thus far was the book, like the very first one, the book for Annabelle, before I realized that I needed to be reading the description for some of them. And the fishing tackle box, I think is the other one that mixed me up because I don't think I had interacted with Senna enough to realize that she was a fisherman by hobby. And so... I was like, great, now I gotta wait for the fishing, whatever. Or do I? And then I literally talked to everybody except for Senna. And finally, it worked. And I was like, thank you, Jesus. Hey. How's it going? Do I have anything that you want? I'm sure I do. Uh, Violet, blue bottle flower. Yeah, I should have a blue bottle flower. Yes, right there. There you go. Be my friend, here's a flower. So, I'm, for the friendship thing, Annabelle came up to me and said, Oh, you're my friend. Oh, they're not open. When are you open? We're just going to wait three hours. Um, Annabelle came up to me, I don't remember when, when I was at Three Hearts and was like, Yay, we're friends. And I was like, Oh, okay, cool. Three Hearts is friendship. And I guess Four Hearts is girlfriend because she at Four Hearts she came to me and professed her love and it was very tender and warm. 
Amber's not here. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyways. So, I can't remember what I was saying now. God damn it. <laughs> uh, anyways. So, let's just see if... Please be here. And you just weren't part of the cutscene. <sighs> Dang it. Hi, Mono. How's it going? Hi, Dimitri. Uh, would you like some cheese? I think I was giving you cheese. Yeah, have some cheese. Cole, do you have anything? First, let me talk to you. How are you doing? And then, what can I give to you? You... Like things that I do not possess. Okay. Noted. I'm gonna go upstairs and see if Amber's there. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna trespass a little bit. <sighs> Where the hell's Amber? Ugh. We're gonna find her, and we're gonna give her this friggin' paintbrush. And then be sad when, for some reason, she doesn't want it. I mean, it's a fine paintbrush, so, like, one assumes that's a, a description of, like, the, the caliber of, um, the, the bristles, essentially. Hey, Orion, how's it going? I still don't think I have anything for you because I keep forgetting to buy you booze. Go figure that the innkeeper likes alcohol, right? Like, come on. Couldn't be a little more creative? Well, I guess, I guess if we go down that rabbit hole, then we start wondering why... The people here like the things they do. It's like, oh, the doctor likes medicine. How could you do? It's like, well, maybe that's kind of why he chose that profession. So, anyways, let's just let's just pretend that we didn't try to go down that particular rabbit hole, shall we? Here you go. Have some herbal tea. I, I think that does qualify as talking to you. Yeah. Okay. And then, okay. So. I'm going, so right here, I'm just going to take a moment. Oh, and she walked away. Oh, dang it. So here's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. But first, we're going to save because this screwed me up last time. So we're going to save right there. Pushing the button in here, at least on my machine, which is a custom-built computer, but on this, on this machine, on this whole setup dealie, if I push this button, the game freezes when she's not there. So I'm gonna have her, I'm gonna have her walk away, hopefully. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. Right there. The game is now completely frozen. I can't, I can't do anything. <laughs> so I don't know if any of you guys out there are having the same issue or what, but do not ring the service bell in the clinic. It crashes the game. So we're gonna be right back. Okay, and we're back. So now we're just gonna wait, oh, excuse me, for Madison to walk on back. Uh, so that way we can buy a little bit more tea for the um, doctor. There we go. Uh, can I buy medicine? Let's see. Um, yeah, we'll just buy... Oh, I don't want that much tea. I don't like the guy that much. Well, I guess that's not entirely true. But, part-time work. I would like to work here, so that way I can improve my relationship with you, folks. Yay! Working at the clinic, because I'm totally qualified to do this. <laughs> I'm totally qualified to handle the counter at a clinic, right? Like, as a simple farmer. I work with medicine all the time. What are you talking about? Okay, can I go back in and give, like... I think she likes organic greens. Assuming I can find them. There they are. There. Eat your greens. You'll grow up big and strong. There we go. So, just to see what they're at. Two ribbons, two ribbons. Okay. It seems to take about a week and a half to two weeks to get somebody's heart level to raise just by talking to them and giving them gifts. And I think because I've done two or three festivals with Annabelle, that's the same reason I've got her up to four. Uh, plus, I've been giving her gifts and talking to her and doing all that stuff back in spring. So that seems to be the only reason why I've got her at four hearts, because everybody else is at, like, on average, about a two. I've got a couple folks that I don't really see because of where their business is located. Hey, how's it going? Do you want anything that I possess? Uh, you... Here, why don't I buy you a drink? I'd like a drink. Let's buy... Uh, let's buy some of these. I know a couple folks that drink this. And I know a couple folks that drink this. Okay, so now we have gift for you. Have a drink on me. Nice. Amber, you're here. Take this paintbrush. Yes, have it. Nice, finally. Uh, I don't know that I have anything else to give you, and I don't even know if you would take it anyway. 
I'm so bad at remembering what all these folks like. Northern Brew, she also likes, uh, whatever this means. There you go. Logan, what can I give you? Um, you think a guy that I have three ribbons at, I would remember. He likes milk. Oh, okay. Then here. Oh, I didn't milk my cow. Crap. Okay, never mind. I don't have anything for you. Just found out the cows or whatever. Don't you like eggs? I don't remember if you like eggs. Yes, you do like eggs. Okay, cool. You... I don't remember what you like. I know what Annabelle likes. That's the only person that apparently my brain has deemed worthy of remembering what is good or not good for this individual. Um, but apparently you like eggs as well, so... Go ahead and have this egg. I gave you tea. I know that Sparrow likes seashells. Inigo likes plums. And I have four plums. There you go. And you like spiced rum, from what I remember. So, have this rum. Yay! Everybody's happy. Spread the love. We're one big happy community that shares friendship and possessions and all other sorts of friendship is magic stuff can be said right here. I'm gonna go home and go to bed. And I think I'm also gonna call this episode since we've been running for quite a while. So there we go. If you guys had any questions about what to do or get for people, apparently the answer is buy them shit. Just like every other Harvest Moon game. We didn't see Annabelle and I actually don't know where she's gone off to. Um, she doesn't really stay out very late so it's kind of hard to meet up with her. Maybe she's over here at the tree. Let's see if she's over here at the tree late at night. She's got a particular, she's got a particular oak tree that she likes to hang out underneath. And I guess gaze at the stars and read about, oh, nope, she's not there, it's too late. Oh well, well, we'll see her around. I mean, it's a tall, it's a small village rather. So I'm gonna call this episode here. If you guys enjoyed yourselves, uh, go ahead and do that YouTube trifecta of like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next chapter. Bye-bye. That ability to just kind of detox and, you know, enjoy your time. Because that's really what you know one's free time should be about is enjoying it and if you're not doing something that you're not enjoying why do it right so okay well i wanted to show off the summer market a little bit uh, because i wasn't quite sure